How to become the person you've always wanted to be. Imagine if you could stop putting off what you know you need to do. Have you ever thought about that? How many times have you caught yourself saying the famous phrase, I'll do it later? It seems so harmless, right? But the truth is, that attitude hides something much deeper and more powerful. Procrastination isn't just laziness, it's self-sabotage. Yes, you heard that right. It's you playing against yourself. But why do we do this? Have you ever stopped to think about why, even knowing what needs to be done, you choose the easier path? It's as if the couch and the streaming series are irresistible and that project that could change your life can wait a little longer. This happens because deep down, our brain creates a series of excuses, comfortable illusions that help us avoid the discomfort of change. And believe me, it's good at it. It's a master at making us believe we can leave everything for tomorrow. But here's the problem, that tomorrow often never comes. Procrastination is just that. It's a mechanism that protects us from facing something uncomfortable in the present by offering an immediate reward, but it pulls us away from who we really want to be. And that's where self-sabotage comes in. You want to change, you want to improve, but you end up getting lost in your own justifications. Those promises you make to yourself that I'll start on Monday, but when Monday arrives, the cycle repeats itself. And do you know what's crazier? The more you put it off, the heavier the idea of starting seems, as if taking a simple step forward becomes an insurmountable mountain. So why do we delay the things that would lead us to the life we desire? What are you avoiding facing? Stop and think. Is it the fear of failure, of difficulty, or even of success? I know it may sound strange, but the truth is, that real changes require sacrifice, and that can be scary. But let me tell you something, the more you run from discomfort, the further you drift from the person you could become. Now I want you to take a pause, close your eyes for a second and think about all the promises you made to yourself this year. How many have you actually kept? How many times have you been stuck in that same story, postponing the start of your own transformation? And more importantly, what would be different in your life today if you had taken just one small step forward? The good news is that you can break this cycle. You can start acting today. It doesn't have to be something grandiose. Just a step, a small movement towards what you desire. And I'm here to remind you, no one is going to do this for you. This is your moment, your opportunity to stop fighting against yourself and start acting in favor of your own life. Now, before we go on, let me ask you a question. How many times have you regretted following an impulse, making a decision in the heat of the moment, only to later realize that you could have avoided all that trouble? Exactly. It happens to everyone. Procrastination can be a way to avoid discomfort, but there's something that can be even more dangerous acting without thinking, driven by an immediate desire. And often, that's what opens the door for us to fall into traps that could have been avoided. And speaking of traps, let me tell you about something that has caught many people by surprise lately. Have you heard of the nudes scam? Yes, it's a very common scam nowadays, and it doesn't happen by accident. It's designed to exploit a weakness that many of us have, the tendency to be driven by emotions, superficial desires, and especially by a lack of reflection. This is where Stoic wisdom comes in. The Stoic seeks to live in harmony with reason, not with passions. To them, uncontrolled emotions like desire or momentary excitement are seen as dangerous traps that steer us away from virtue. A central concept in Stoic philosophy is apatheia, a state of immunity to passions. This doesn't mean they avoid feeling, but rather that they aren't dominated by these emotions. They seek balance, the control of the mind over impulses. And this is exactly what can protect us from falling into emotional traps. You see, the nude scam is a perfect example of how uncontrolled passions blind us. A man, often older, and already established in life, 
receives a message from a woman who seems perfect. She's young, beautiful, the kind of person he never thought would be interested in him. And what happens? He gets carried away by that momentary desire without questioning, without stopping to reflect on whether it makes sense. And in that moment of emotional vulnerability, he falls into the trap. But if he were in harmony with reason, as the Stoics teach us, he would have paused. He would have thought, is this real? Does it make sense for someone like that to be interested in me without any context? Reason would have prevailed over desire, and he wouldn't have fallen. This is what Stoic philosophy offers us. Clarity to see situations with a calm mind, so we aren't blindly guided by passions. Because the world is full of distractions and temptations, but when we are guided by wisdom and reason, we can shield ourselves against these scams, both external ones like the nudes scam and the internal ones, which are the illusions we create for ourselves. Now think about how many times you've been swept away by an emotion, by an immediate desire, and ended up regretting it. Wouldn't it be better to have that pause, that ability to reflect before acting? This is what brings us closer to true freedom, the freedom from being controlled by our own passions. Now you may be asking yourself, but why is it so difficult to resist these emotional traps and make rational decisions? The answer lies within each of us, in something you may not even notice, but is operating all the time. Our mind has a real factory of illusory beliefs. And just as we fall for external scams, we are often victims of our own internal scams as well. Let's talk about these illusory beliefs and how they can be so powerful that they paralyze us, prevent us from making the right decisions, or even keep us trapped in situations we know aren't good for us. Do you know that feeling of internal conflict when you know what you should do, but you end up acting in a completely opposite way? This is what we call cognitive dissonance. Your mind enters a game of justifications to try to relieve the discomfort of not acting according to your own needs and values. It's as if, instead of facing reality, you create a parallel story, a fairy tale that makes everything more comfortable for a while. But as with every fairy tale, reality eventually shows up. When you procrastinate in making an important decision, your mind may convince you that it's okay. Today, I deserve to rest. I'll deal with it tomorrow. And this illusion creates a comfort zone that, while seemingly harmless, keeps you distant from the change you so desire. These illusory beliefs are like little scams we pull on ourselves. The difference is that, unlike external scams where someone else manipulates the situation, in the case of illusions, we are responsible for deceiving ourselves. And why do we do this? Simply because facing the truth, the discomfort, requires courage and strength. It requires us to open our eyes to what's really happening, and that often hurts. Stoic philosophy offers us a way out, looking at reality honestly, without illusions. When you accept reality as it is, Without creating excuses or stories to soften things, you start acting according to your true needs. This is what the Stoics call living in conformity with nature. It's not about controlling everything, because let's face it, that's impossible, but about recognizing and accepting what's beyond our control while acting with determination on what we can change. So why keep feeding this factory of illusory beliefs? Think about how many times you've told yourself a story to justify inertia, to avoid making that difficult decision. And now think, what would be different in your life today if you had faced those moments with clarity and courage from the start? That's what Stoicism teaches us, to have mental clarity and emotional courage to face reality, no matter how uncomfortable, and to stop living in a fantasy that only delays the inevitable. Are you ready to shut down this factory of illusions and start building a life based on truth and action? Now that we've talked about the traps our own mind creates to keep us comfortable, let's take it a step further. Have you noticed how today everything seems to have a quick solution, a magic formula? 
Learn a new language in three months. Make millions with a weekend course. Change your life in just five steps. It sounds tempting, right? But let me ask you something. How many of these promises actually deliver what they promise? The truth is, we're living in the age of superficiality. Everything is fast, instant, and it seems like depth and continuous effort have lost their value. But I'll tell you something that you may not want to hear, but it's essential. Deep, lasting changes require time and dedication. There is no shortcut to a truly transformed life. And honestly, you don't want those shortcuts because they deceive you, making you believe there's an easy way to achieve something great. And guess what? There isn't. It's as if each of us is being bombarded with these empty promises that sell us the idea that success, learning or transformation can be achieved without effort. And here's the key point. What's easy, what comes quickly, usually lacks depth. And what lacks depth doesn't last. Stoic philosophy teaches us that virtue, personal excellence, is built day by day, brick by brick. There's no such thing as a quantum leap that will transform you overnight. What exists is constant practice, commitment to effort, and most importantly, patience. And here's the big secret. The harder path is actually the most rewarding path because it's on that path that you discover yourself, strengthen yourself, and grow. Look, when you buy into the idea that something as complex as learning a new language, mastering a skill, or transforming your life can be done in just a few days or weeks, you're falling into the trap of superficiality. And that trap only leads to frustration. Because when you realize the promises aren't being fulfilled, disappointment sets in, and with it, doubt about your own ability. But it's not that you're not capable. You are capable. What's missing is accepting that any journey of transformation needs depth, that you need to dive deeper, beyond the surface. And that's not done overnight. It's done with practice, patience, and continuous effort. So next time you see one of these promises of change your life in 21 days, ask yourself, what do I really want to build? Because a solid life a true transformation isn't built with shortcuts. It's the result of a constant process of facing challenges, of small steps that, when added together, take you to where you really want to go. And here's an important question. Are you willing to give up easy promises and embrace the longer but more genuine path? Are you prepared to commit to the process rather than seeking instant results? If the answer is yes, Know that you're already ahead of many, because while most people seek the easy route, you'll be pursuing what's lasting. Remember, in a world where superficiality is the norm, being deep is what sets you apart. Now let's think together. How many times have you found yourself looking for a shortcut, a quicker solution to a problem that seems too difficult? After all, who doesn't want to reach their goals faster with less effort, right? But here's the danger. This endless search for shortcuts for magic formulas not only delays your progress, but also prevents you from achieving something truly solid and lasting. The truth is, shortcuts give us a false sense of efficiency. They make it seem like we're moving forward when, in reality, we're going in circles. And this doesn't just apply to learning or career development. It also affects our relationships, the way we connect with people. When everything is superficial, when everything is fast food, what's left in the end? Fragile relationships, fleeting results, and a constant sense of dissatisfaction. Stoicism teaches us that true personal development requires time and dedication. We need to live with intention, with patience, and most importantly, with the awareness that there are no easy solutions to complex problems. Shortcuts may seem attractive at first, but they come at a high price in the end. Let's take the example of a professional career. How many people do you know who got stuck in get-rich-quick schemes? These financial shortcuts that promise wealth without effort only feed the illusion that success can be instant. 
but the result is almost always frustration, because when you seek the easy, the fast, you ignore the most important part, the process, and it's in the process that true growth happens. Now let's bring this into human relationships. In today's world, where everything is done in a rush, even human connections seem to have an expiration date. Dating apps, shallow conversations, everything is superficial. And what does that lead to? Fragile bonds that break at the first sign of conflict. And why? Because shortcuts, whether in career, learning, or relationships, never build anything solid. Everything superficial crumbles easily. I ask you, how far are you willing to go to avoid the discomfort of a long but necessary journey? Stoicism reminds us that true virtue, true excellence is built with continuous effort. Shortcuts are illusions, and the more you seek them, the further you drift from what you truly want. When you choose the longer path, the path of real effort, you're building something that will last. Yes, it may be harder at first. It may require more time, more energy, but what you gain in return is far more valuable. A solid life, deep relationships, a sense of achievement that no shortcut can provide. So next time you're tempted to seek the easy way out, stop and reflect. What are you really building? Because in the end, shortcuts don't lead you forward. They only delay what you really desire to achieve. Shall we abandon this search for quick fixes and embrace the true process of growth? Let's build something solid and lasting without falling into the trap of shortcuts. After all, everything that's worthwhile takes time and dedication. Now that we've talked about the dangers of shortcuts and easy solutions, let's look at an even more delicate area, our personal and romantic relationships. And I ask you, how many times have you ignored red flags in someone simply because you were in love? Or maybe deep down, you knew that person wasn't good for you, but you chose to convince yourself otherwise, to create excuses, to cling to an idealized version of the relationship. This, my friend, is self-sabotage manifesting in a way that can be even more devastating. When we're in love, it's easy to lose ourselves in intense emotions, after all, who doesn't want to believe they've found the perfect person? But often, that perfection is something we construct in our minds, fueled by desires, expectations, and of course, those same illusory beliefs we talked about earlier. Only this time, they aren't stopping you from acting in your career or personal projects. They're affecting something much deeper, your relationships and your ability to see reality. Self-sabotage in love can happen in various ways. Maybe you idealize the person you're with, creating a version that only exists in your mind, ignoring clear signs that the relationship isn't good for you. Or perhaps you postpone important conversations, avoid conflicts, convincing yourself that things will get better on their own. Deep down, you know you need to act, but you prefer to deceive yourself. And that illusion may be comforting at first, but in the long run, it only pulls you away from living a healthy, true relationship. Here, Stoicism offers us a valuable lesson. The Stoics believed that we should not be dominated by passions, and this is especially true in relationships. It's not about avoiding feeling or loving, but rather about not letting emotions cloud our judgment. The Stoic seeks clarity, balance, harmony with reason. And when we bring this into love, it means seeing the other person as they really are, without illusions, without idealizations. Think about how many times you've heard someone say, it'll be different with me, or I know they have problems, but I'll help them change. There's the problem. That's the illusory belief speaking. It's you sabotaging your own ability to recognize the warning signs. The truth is, you can't change anyone. You can support, you can be there for them. But change only happens if the person decides to change. Ignoring this fact is falling into the trap of self-sabotage. Now think about the times you've postponed important discussions or ignored behaviors that hurt you, all to avoid discomfort. 
You were sabotaging yourself, protecting yourself from a possible short-term conflict, but planting the seeds of long-term dissatisfaction. And often, that's where relationships fall apart. Not because the signs weren't there, but because we chose not to see them. But what if you could stop this self-sabotage right now? What if, starting today, you began to look at your relationships with the eyes of reason, without letting emotions distort your perception? Imagine how freeing that could be, how much it could save you from future suffering. Because in the end, a true love doesn't need to be built on illusions. It should be based on a clear, honest and deep vision of the other person and yourself. Now that we've talked about how we sabotage ourselves in our relationships and daily choices, it's time to look at what can truly transform your life. Action. And perhaps one of the biggest traps of our minds is believing that we need to wait for the will, for the perfect motivation to start acting. But I'm going to tell you a truth that can change your perspective. You don't need willpower to start changing your habits. What you need is action, even if it's small, even if it's imperfect. How many times have you postponed something just because you simply didn't feel like it? Maybe it was starting the gym, beginning a new project, or even reading that book you know will help you. The truth is, waiting for motivation is like waiting for a storm in the desert. It might happen, but you don't know when or if it will ever happen. And meanwhile, time passes. Days turn into weeks, weeks into months, and suddenly, another year has gone by. How many New Year's resolutions have fallen by the wayside because of this? But here's the secret. Change doesn't depend on will. It depends on action. And what few people realize is that action, even if small, even if imperceptible at first, generates a powerful effect. It creates movement. And when you're in motion, things start to happen. Have you noticed that often it's in the middle of the process that motivation shows up? At first, you don't want to go to the gym, but after 10 minutes, your body adjusts and suddenly you're finishing the workout. It's not willpower that leads you to change, it's action. The Stoics had a phrase that sums up this idea well, do what needs to be done, not what you want to do. They understood that the path to virtue to excellence isn't in comfort or desire, but in commitment to action, even when you don't feel like it. And this applies to everything in life. Want to change a habit? Start small. It doesn't need to be something grand. If you want to start exercising, for example, you don't need to run a marathon on the first day. Just put on your shoes, step outside, and walk around the block. If you want to read more, don't force yourself to devour an entire book at once. Start with five pages a day. The important thing is to take the first step, because it's that first step that breaks the cycle of procrastination and puts you in motion. And do you know what's most interesting? With each small step you take, your confidence grows. And over time, that confidence turns into a habit, into a pattern. Suddenly, what seemed difficult or impossible becomes part of your daily life. But this only happens when you decide to act, without waiting for the perfect moment, without waiting for a miraculous willpower. I know it's often challenging. Life is busy, exhaustion sets in, and it seems like there's always something more urgent to do. But I want to remind you of something. You'll never be completely ready. Life won't stop so you can find the ideal moment. What you have is now, and in the now, you can choose to take a step. No matter the size, what matters is the movement. So here's the challenge. Choose one thing you know you need to change, just one, and decide what the first small step will be toward that change. It can be today, it can be tomorrow, but start. And remember, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to get done. Now that you know the importance of acting even without will, let's talk about something that makes all the difference in your development. Depth. In a world where everything is superficial, where people seek quick answers, easy solutions and magic formulas, 
Going deep into what you do becomes not just an advantage, but a powerful differentiator. Pause for a moment and think, how many times have you seen someone try to learn something new, follow a workout plan, or start a personal project, only to abandon everything a few weeks later? This happens all the time. And why? Because most of the time, people are looking for quick results without truly committing to the process. They want to learn a language in three months, get in shape in 21 days, or become experts in something overnight. But the truth is simple. What is superficial doesn't last. What is shallow falls apart at the first difficulty. Now, think of the greatest masters in any field, be they athletes, artists, leaders, or thinkers. What do they all have in common? They dove deep into their passions, their studies, their practices. They didn't give in to the temptation of shortcuts, didn't seek the easiest path, they understood that true success comes from constant dedication, continuous learning, and depth. And that depth, that willingness to go beyond the basics, is what separates those who achieve lasting results from those who only have fleeting moments. In Stoicism, there's a powerful idea. The essential cannot be rushed. Everything that really matters in life whether it's your personal growth, your relationships, or your work, requires time and attention. There's no point in skipping steps. There's no point in looking for shortcuts. Because in the end, it's depth that builds solidity, the foundation that supports everything you want to achieve. Look around. Superficiality is everywhere. How many times have you seen people seeking superficial knowledge in quick summaries or trying to apply ready-made formulas to solve complex problems? And in the end, what do they get from it? A shallow understanding that often doesn't withstand the challenges of real life. Depth is the opposite of that. When you dive deep into something, whether it's learning a new skill, developing a project, or even your relationships, you're building a solid foundation. A foundation that withstands time, obstacles, and takes you to a level that most never reach. Because while many are content with the easy, you're investing in what truly makes a difference. And that doesn't mean you have to be perfect or that you have to dive headfirst into everything all the time. What it means is that you should choose wisely where you want to go deep. Choose what really matters to you, what will impact your life in a meaningful way, and then commit to going deep. Study, practice, evolve. Because the deeper you go, the more you stand out. In a world of superficialities, being deep is a true act of rebellion. It's what will set you ahead, both in your goals and in your personal life. So, what do you choose? Follow the path of the majority, seeking shortcuts and quick results, or dive into the process and commit to truly mastering what you do. I know it may seem tempting to seek the easy way out, but I guarantee depth is what truly takes you where you want to go. Now that you understand how procrastination, self-sabotage, and illusory beliefs may be preventing you from achieving the life you desire, one question remains. What will you do from now on? It's no longer about waiting for the perfect moment or thinking that motivation will appear out of nowhere. It's about acting, even with small steps, even without willpower. It's about taking control of your life. Remember, you don't need quick fixes, magic formulas, or shortcuts. You need clarity, consistency, and above all, depth. Only then will you be able to build a solid life, a life that truly makes sense to you. And you know what's the most incredible part? The power to start has always been in your hands. So what are you going to do now? Are you ready to stop postponing and start building the life you deserve? If this video gave you any insights, made you reflect on how you can take the first steps, I want to ask you one thing. Subscribe to the channel and leave your like. This helps our community grow and spread this message to even more people who, like you, are seeking real change. And of course, don't forget to leave in the comments what the biggest lesson you took from this was and what other topics you'd like to see in the next videos. Let's walk this journey of transformation together. 
With each step, with each choice, you are closer to your best version. See you in the next video.